flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. Man, and I made her just talk about drugs. You know, I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And I just want to talk about drugs. Y'all could go to my last drugs video. But, you know, rest in peace, uh, little, little Pete, homeboy who just got killed, never heard none of his music or whatever like that. Until after he died, and when I went back to it, I'm like, God damn, this was a this was a, a spirit that didn't want to be here. But we got to understand this concept. Like, y'all could go to my drugs video. Y'all know drugs that's dealing with smoke is a is dealing with the frequency, the mind, the ideas, the spirit, the conscious. Any type of drug that's dealing with a fluid. As far as alcohol, lean, all that, that's dealing with you. That's going to affect your vibrations. That's going to affect your feelings and your emotions. You saying this affects your ideas, your thoughts, your consciousness. The fluid affects your vibrations, your your emotions, and things of that nature. And then the energy, the physical, the the pills, the edibles, anything you can physically eat and take. And hallucinate and things of that nature. Those type of things, uh, uh, those type of things affect the body. So this is why when people take things that affect the body, it comes in the physical form as muscle relaxers or pills or edibles, something you can eat, something that can take shape and form of your body, because it's in the form of a physical form. Anything you could drink. It's going to go into the vibrational energetic force field. So it's going to affect your fluid, your soul. You see what I'm saying? Your emotions, your feelings. Your spirit doesn't become a soul until it goes into a realm of reality. Into it, to, to it experience some type of vibration, some type of fluids that it can make a body over. But your frequency, your spirit, your conscious is just a timeline, a line of events, the ideas, the frequency. So you're going to go in that direction of the frequency. Now, whatever that frequency is vibrating on, that's the type of fluids, you. that's the type of experience that you want to experience or chose to or traveled in. You see what I'm saying? So when we want to talk about drugs, transform you, period. When we talk about smoke, this transform your consciousness. So whatever this tree plant or whatever you're smoking, whatever that's from, when you smoke it, it goes into your lungs. Now you can go to my video based upon the uh, the houses and based upon the body you are in. If this is the headspace, we know it's gonna. We know that that the fire is in the sky. So the headspace actually rules whatever stars or signs or brain matter that's in this area. The fire rules this area. You see what I'm saying? Then when you get down here. As far as the how this is the I am area. As far as you get down here, this is the area of value. Volume and value. You know what I'm saying? What you have to offer to the world and a fixated way of being on that. So this would be like the second house area. And this right here would be like the third house area, which is communication. Your lungs. You see what I'm saying? So as you breathe, breathing give you the electrical charges that, that go to that go through the volume of your breathing, which will be what you value. This is why Taurus is rule the second, the second house rules Taurus, and Taurus rules the voice, voice box, and how dense it can be by how stable and fixated of what you're trying to bring into this world can be. So it's like the foundation. This is the form of communication, the lungs going in and out of the yin and the yang realm. Something going in you and out of you. And in a less dense, but still physically so you can see it. So that's the first form of communication, that house. And when you communicate, that communication goes back to the headspace. The all you see the blood rush there. You keep conscious based upon the based upon the the information you keep accumulating. So if you're putting something in your lungs from a different location of space in the sky. And say that location is a high place, then the information that you're going to receive is going to be from that place. Then when all them brain sensories go back to your headspace, because your headspace is within the realm of reality. 
And in this memory reality, the thing that you put in your lungs may not necessarily be from this room. You may even not even necessarily be from this realm. But your physical makeup and what you choose to come into the habit as a vessel is absorbed and accumulated with these elements. So in so many words, the, the, the physical part of your headspace is here, right? So when it receives that information from something that's not from here, you you start to get consciously aware of all that shit. So this is why you be careful what you're smoking. Weed is at a place that's more resonate that that resonate more with this being that you're in because you're around a bunch of snake beings. So when you see things like the Anunnaki's, Palladians, reptilians, graves, and all this is this different ver different families of you. So this di different this, this it's you. Just like you got white black you got white black Mexicans and say you got white black Mexicans uh Japanese all, all the races that we have but we're still the human I don't agree on term conditions but y'all all still the human race right that's the same way so so as you the human race then you got all the animals and all the human all of y'all and all of us as one is the the snake dragon being that we're in so we're all all different fragments of this being and the snake dragon being we're in it's amongst a different beings amongst his race. So you got, you got, this is where we even get the concept of black, white people, whatever like that. Which you can go to my video of how all humans got here. And you'll understand color spectrum and frequency vibrations. You'll understand why a man or one man shouldn't be clinging to a, a, a color sigil. Why are you claiming an energetic force? You're just here to experience that color spectrum and the energetic experience that come out of it. But you're not supposed to claim this. Because then you, you turn it into a whole separate thing. You turn it into a whole separate thing. And you start to shape your experiences on some whole other shit. Now, as all of the beings within this being, all the animals, races, colors, we're just, to this being that we're in, we're all as one. And then when we all just think about it, this being is just moving around as this one, it's just one. But it's around. It's family, and it's around a bunch of different races. They're the same race, but they're around a bunch of different separate parts of their own race. They got so same way how we look at black, white, Mexican, Japanese. You know what I'm saying? All the and how we look at all these races. Same way they up there. It's the same thing. Our we're just perceiving it after it's being perceived. So we're looking at it as reptilian, grays, Anunnaki's, uh, this, that, third, this, that, third. But this is this us. This, this is why I'm able to say that. People people get lost. See, this is the thing. It's not about getting lost into words. And it's about... It, it is about getting lost in them till you understand where they all came from. But if you never got lost in them in the first place to understand that they all come from the same source in general, then you're going to think all of it came from a source that you don't need to get into. When, when, once, when, if you got into all of them, you would know what to separate and know what to keep. And you would know that, uh, and you would be able to, to see the shape and form of where they all came from. And they all point to the same spot. And then once you realize that is, whatever spot you're trying to reach, is the same spot all the motherfuckers who created some shit to try to reach. And you might can reach it a little faster if you just take into consideration of understanding. It's not about getting lost in shit. It's about understanding shit. Then once you understand it, it's impossible to get lost in it. Because you know where it came from. So you know your directions in it. But if you're just looking at it like it's just an area of life you never need to go into, then hell yeah, it's going to look lost. And everybody who, who go into that realm of reality and kick it, you're going to look at them like they're lost. Because you don't know their direction that they're going. But if you took the time to go into that direction and find your own way, then you will see that, okay, it is some lost people in here. But it's some people who are not lost. It's some people who actually know where they're going. And they actually chose to go this direction because this path might be a little faster path to the path that everybody is trying to get to in anyway. That's what it's about. Stop kicking the shit that you're saying everybody else is kicking. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's like a hundred conscious people on the internet that all think the same, and then when you watch them, they all think they're they think it's separate. And then you watching them, you like, damn, is they all exchanging information with, between each other without knowing it? 
and they and, and then you will look at them and then they really think they don't be watching somebody else. I mean, they, like they really they they probably don't watch nobody else, and they really believe what they talking about is that they the only ones who thought of that. But it's a hundred different. Like I can sit down and run a hundred different conscious niggas who talk about the same goddamn shit, and I bet my videos, all of them, would think I'm talking about each each of them individual, and I just put them all in a box like y'all hear in my song. Y'all are all in the same box. Try to talk about some other shit. You are way out your range. I, because I see you haven't even completed the range of all the people who is talking about the shit you're talking about. It's like, damn. Niggas ain't doing their own traveling. And then it's like, um, you know what I'm saying? And then they think they're getting all their knowledge from their dreads. And then they get, it's, all, it's called kind of crazy shit. Niggas have dreads. Way down here, and think that's the reason they got knowledge, because your dreads reach your ass. You know what I'm saying? But you need to. We talk about drugs, cause I got into something else. I got into something else, but it's all relative. It's all relative. Because what Lil Pete did, he took a bunch of physical pills. So that transformed the fuck. Look, this is what you need to understand. Your physical body is made up and it consists of a, a group of components. A group of, in this memory, each civilization just had their own way of explaining it. In this civilization, in the age of Aquarius, y'all explain it as particles and atoms and shit like that. So you got a group of carbon. A group of helium, a group of hydrogen, because y'all y'all are a mixture of all this. So it's important to know these mixtures, because when we talk about rituals and spells and chemistry, this is just us taking smaller forms of elements than that's more mixture than us, and putting more mixtures together to create something. So when you take something that's out of your element, it is going to transform you. And if the transformation in you is too severe, and things in the system and the organ and the organizations in you is not able to run effectively the way that it can run based upon that transformation, that's almost like a person coming in a work field and transforming that work field. This person is supposed to be doing this position in this way, and they they did that position in, in a whole new entirely way. They was a virus to that to that business. They transformed that business. Now, based upon that person's intent and what they was taking, it could have transformed the business for the better or transformed the business for the worse. You would know it transformed the business for the worse if the business start to shut down. Should have said, start to lose business, start to shut down, start to lose employees, start to lose organs. Should have said. So, when you take something with a mixed in with a bunch of elements. That don't resonate with how your mixture of elements is, then the transformation can become toxic, chaotic, explosive. You can explode your fucking self. Lil Pete probably popped so many fucking pills that it was fucking explosions going on in his body. Ex all kind of big bangs going on in his body. Extreme big bangs. Shit was exploding in ways that. That some some physical parts of his body never even experienced before. It, it was the spirit of the being in that body exploding first. Before that, the being in that body exploded. Going crazy. Then he got his friends going over there recording. Talking about he in there doing sit-ups. Nigga in there slumped. Queen Street. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Bosco. Queen Street. <laughs> and I ain't laughing at little peeps death. And me, that shit didn't even exist anyway. I truly do not believe in death. It's truly just transformation. That nigga transformed and went to a realm of reality that he created for himself. So all the music and videos y'all see from him, see, pay, pay very, very close attention to your favorite artist's names because the names is what they resonate with. The name that was given to you 
you're going to start to experience a bunch of shit in your life that lets you know that ain't your name. And the more and more you choose to resonate with it, you just agree to the terms and conditions to, to, to take on all those problems. But in some way, shape, or form, you're going to make up a nickname in your life. I don't care how small in consciousness you is. In some way, shape, or form, you're going to have the idea to make a nickname. Because that nickname is, is genuinely you. That's what you resonate. That's where you're from. I could break my name down in so many different ways. Dolo the Pilot Man. Dolo. That, everything, so everything you're going to witness from me is something that's single. Singled out. Singularity. Something that's dealing with the singularity. You know what I'm saying? All my videos by myself. Everything is, all my conscious is singularity type conscious. You see what I'm saying? Now the Pilot Man. You're always going to see me taking that single consciousness and going into and flying. So this is why you always hear me talking about astrology. Always hear me talking about uh, the spirit realm, the, the astral realm, the esoteric. You always hear me talking about some form. That's some form of flying. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm a man. I'm a star. I'm a god doing that. The the flying star. The flying man. The 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 flying god. The pilot god. The pilot man. The pilot star. You see what I'm saying? Consciousness. Now. I can even break it down into my zodiac. Dolo. Dolo. That's my sun sign. That's Aries. You see what I'm saying? The pilot man. Pilot man. That's my that's my moon sign. That's Sagittarius. You see the archer. That's the pilot man. The man that reached for high thoughts and ideas. Trying to fly off. Flight boss. That's Leo. That's my ascendant. So when I am flying, y'all need to know I'm the boss here. Flight boss. See what I'm saying? I'm the flight boss. I'm the center century, the center of the stage of being on the flight. Who's the center of the stage of your job? The boss. You see what I'm saying? You see how the fixed fix nature came out? Now, I came up with these names before I, I was even deep into astrology. But as far as just my spirit and what I resonated with, that was part of my travels to even, this is why I was talking about the tattoos. This was signs, insidials, and spells I gave myself to lead me and walk me right into the path that I resonate with. So even before I was even in deep astrology and things of that nature, boom, I always was Dolo. Always was the pilot man. I always was flight boss. My whole life. You can ask anybody who know me. I was never not nothing else. See what I'm saying? Now, when we talk about as far as when we get into the situation of the names I gave myself, the names I gave myself, they're like frequencies. They're like spirits. My own spirits. My spirit guides. Those are timelines. Line of events. And it led me right into the vibrations. Emotions and feelings with my soul that I could vibrate with to be like, yeah, this is me. I feel it inside. It, yeah, even if it's using me as a vessel at the time. It is me, but I resonated with it truly, and it ain't give me no experience to show me that that wasn't me. So I know that that's not my. I know that this is me. That's in me. Then it's like it had been in me since birth. I didn't get influenced. Then it's like, damn, this is me. So I started accommodating my personality around it. So Dolo is my actions, the way I act. The pilot man is. Where my actions is going towards. These are the things I act on. I act on politics. I act on flying. Then my personality. my per I got a fix, fixated way of seeing and feeling about that. Yeah, I'm the flight boss. So when I, when, so when I start to uh, get, get into astrology and shit like that. I'm like, damn. All this shit correlate. What the fuck? And then it just reminded me that, okay, I always knew it. So you can look at little Pete. Look at all them damn tattoos he had and shit like that. Man, ain't no telling what this motherfucker was getting abused by. And look at his videos and shit like that. Ain't no telling what was using that nigga as a vessel to put out these images that he was receiving in his mind. I just watched the one video talking about I, I like when you tell me something bad because it, it helps me feel good. When you're not here. Now I understand that. When, when someone that you want to be with. And you can't be with. For some certain reason. You want to hear them talk negative about you. 
and things of that nature. Or, or vice versa. You might be the person on the opposite end that you talk shit about them. But that validates. That makes a person feel comfortable because they're like, oh, good. I don't want to be around that person anyway. So I understand that. But who's putting them in that world? And I, as he was only 21. And I don't want to say only because if, if we're going to be in our 20s, then you, you, you got to know, bro. Nah, you should know. Ain't no excuses about that, though. But at the same time, though, you see what I'm saying? Like, in his world, in his consciousness, he would, people who kill themselves are seeing things in, in different dimensions. And it's hard for them to perceive the dimension that they're in. Y'all need to know this 3D dimension that we in, this ain't shit. And by us being in the age of Aquarius, we're, we're receiving influences from real men, real women. The, for the concept for you to say, you ain't a real man, you ain't a real, real woman, that actually came from somewhere. That idea came from a location in space from somewhere outside of you. Because you're in a being that's not a that's not real man. So for you to be the highest conscious in this being that you're in, you're just playing the highest shape and form of the highest perception of the being that you in can perceive as man. But the being that you in is more than what you are. See what I'm saying? But at a totality of things, it's a, it's a dragon, snake-like being. That's another video. Y'all can go watch my other video for that. But as far as the, the being that you're in, it's like this nigga was experiencing all kind of different beings based upon his tattoos and shit of that nature. And shit, one ta one one was making him experience shit that he should paint his nails, and one was making him experience shit, and it's like his videos. His, so his videos is exact, like his videos and his imagery and what he was putting out in the world. That's where he went. What you're doing now is what you always been doing. So it's not really an idea like hell or heaven. Either you gonna come back here, or if you or or if you came here and started and kept on experiencing the previous vessel life you was experienced, you may go back in that vessel because you haven't learned, and you was around a bunch of people, places, and things that helped you vibrate to that to for you to be a human, but you 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 failed. At understanding, so you might go back down into the being you was previously, in, into that vessel, because your conscience wasn't big enough. Because you know that, because of the vessel that you in, you couldn't handle that brain. You couldn't handle that world. For an example, that's like right now. You are a person who can't, you can't handle this world right here, right? But say you around, a you got a bunch of support of people, you around a bunch of support of people, places, and things that can handle this world. By you just being in their vibration, might might help you a little bit. So when you die and transform from this body, you might still have the conscious awareness span to be able to inhabit another one of these vessels again. You might still experience the same shit, or even more of those experiences until you learn. But your conscious, your your shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas, your source is big enough and it's emitting enough light to be able to take on a bigger vessel. So when you start to take shape and form of those fluids and, and start to utilize those elements of things to start making a body and a brain, you can come out within that world. You see what I'm saying? Now, but, see what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You can be, you could be around a bunch of vibrational people that help you, but, but you can still be, this is like those people you get that, that you always got to tell, why you keep going through the same situation? And they keep coming to you from help, but they, for help, but they act like they never learned. So they, they keep doing the same, they keep acting like a bitch, or they keep acting like, this. let's just use this for an example right now. They keep acting like a bitch when you're telling them to stop acting like a bitch. And they just keep acting like a bitch. So no matter what you do or say, no matter how much advice they come to you for help, and they'd be like, okay, I get it. And then they'll act like a bitch one day, but then the next couple of days they act like a bitch. And now this, acting like a bitch could go into so many ways. That is, this don't just mean acting scary and shit. Now, this means this person is keep clinging on to their old life. Maybe they was a bitch before they was in this vibration. But as a bitch, they was a pet around a bunch of humans and stuff. So their conscious awareness got big. The, the shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas got big enough to inhabit a human vessel. But when they got here, they couldn't handle this experience. They couldn't handle this world. They couldn't handle this big of a vessel. So they still had a small brain. Like the, the, the brain, I think, the tissue that they built around there. They shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas is still small because they shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas is small. Their spirit is still small and lost. So it's still clinging on to the last vessel it was in. 
So it still see things that way. This in a bigger world. So when things in the bigger world has take impact on them, aka things they have to take responsibility for, they can't. So when they when they die, kill, or transform themselves, that's how they descend. They go back to being in that bitch. So they go so as that shapeless form is older this non-flammable gas, not only is it still in the same world and still the same in reality, but it's gonna take a lesser vessel, a lesser form. So that gas go into whatever whatever another male dog running around, whatever uh ideas that male dog usually have, that male dog is frequency is vibrating on a certain level. So that shapeless form is odorless non flammable gas go there subconsciously. Almost like natural selection. Then it goes into the it go it resonates and the frequency vibrations collides with that male dog's idea. So it goes into that male dog's head. Whatever that male dog was doing at that time as far as that idea frequency vibration resonation. Then once you go in, you start to take shape and form of the fluids and shit. If you choose to come into the physical world. If you don't, you just stay in that dog's head space and have that dog doing shit. Or stay in that dog's this space or heart space or each whatever chakra space you want to stay in but don't come physical. But if you want to come physical, right? And a lot of times, you will. Because when you do cling on to old things, you cling on to old illusions, shapes and forms. And that's what you come back into to wake back up as a vessel. So it's Want to do the frequency vibration that you was resonate with in, in that male dog again, right? You end up finding the things within that that dog, that being, that idea, and you take that shape and form. That's what you was resonating with. Then after so many thousands of years, which to that dog is probably a couple of days, hundreds of thousands of years it take you to get to totality. Then when that dog have sex, you could be in the lower chakra world. And once you're in the lower chakra world, you can become physical. Like a physical being like we in right now in the third chakra. I mean the third dimension. But here, in a in a broader sense of things, but that's another video. Now when you come out, the dog has sex, the dog is in heat. Now you go into your second world again. Your second dimension again, because you was in that zero dimension as a shapeless, formless, odorless, non flammable gas. You went into the one dimensional, the one dimension when you went into the dog. The the dog. Now you went into the, the female dog. Now you in that world, right? And that's your second dimension. So how you relate in there and how many thousand years you got to be there to develop your, your vibration realm. Because you just developed your frequency, spirit realm better, your one dimension. Now you're developing your vibration and how to relate to things and how to relate to a realm that you in. Fluids. Relate your frequency to the fluids. Build your body. You know what I'm saying? Again, build some more body. So And, and go into a body you can expand in. In that world, right? That's the second dimension. And now once you die and transform there, then you come out into into this world. In the third dimension. But but what do you come out in this world as? A motherfucking bitch. Another fucking dog. You see what I'm saying? But you didn't have to be no motherfucking dog. And if you was a human, your ass already ascended. So but you I'm giving y'all ideas of how this shit work. See what I'm saying? So, when you're taking pills and tattoos and doing all this shit, you start to experience those timelines. And then transform your physical form and take your shapeless formless, non-flammable gas. It's going to go wherever the fuck it was resonating just with. And that might not be a place you really want to go. I'm telling you, it might not be a place you really want to go. Now, when we look at Lil Peep, look at his videos and look at all his posts and shit like that. Now, you can kind of consist. Is he really going to a place that he really wanted to go or not? This is not a, this is not a case of heaven or hell, but you can look at it like that. You go to ascend, but your your but all the elements and things that you had consistent into your conscious awareness, into your shapeless, formless, non-flammable gas, your spirit, all the energy, all the things you're resonating with. Now, say say he went, say he experienced a lot of drugs, and 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 he went into those realms and had so much experiences. That means his shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas is big. That means his source is big. That means he did a lot of traveling there. So if a person know they was going to die, they did a lot of traveling. So, so like I said, once you outweigh the shape and form that you in, you have no, once you're caught, even if you learn too much, you're going to bring a circumstance, a situation in your life that you're going to die. Because your shapeless, formless, odorless, non-flammable gas is too, is too big to go 
to take a shape and form into the physical realm smaller than what it is. So it has to take a larger vessel, a bigger brain. So if little Pete come back as a fucking planet or a star or something bigger than that, based upon how big his spirit was, his conscious awareness is, then his abilities is going to be magnificent. But what is his abilities is going to be subconsciously predicated on? All the shit he was doing in the present. What he's doing now is still what he's doing now. So it may be futuristic based upon your perception. Or past tense based upon your perception. But it's still in the present. So what he's doing now. he's What he was doing now. He's still doing that now. Just in a bigger vessel. Damn. I feel for that brother. I feel for him. He wasn't even no brother. Whatever. He was my brother. Feel for homeboy. Because everything he was creating down here. And all those emotions and feelings he was putting on himself on those creations. Is doing that 20 times even more. 20 times. This, woo. If he in the fourth dimension. Fuck. Fuck 720. How y'all look at it down here in y'all 360 way. He's in that brain of a conscious awareness of being able to see things in 720. His vision is that much clearer. All that pain is that much more visual, that much more physical, that much more. Ah. Ouch! And when he get there, he's not gonna do nothing but do the same shit. Not be, get into some circumstance or situation in that world to make him keep utilizing something in that world that may appear as a drug in that energy. He gonna. Keep doing the same fucking shit. Keep fucking doing the same in every fucking existence. That's hell. That's hell. You got smaller versions of hell, higher versions of hell. So we are, it's, all, it's always a hell to a certain degree. There's always a hell to a heaven. There's always a heaven to a hell. So his higher hell may be a heaven to you. But the perception that he's going through in that conscious world is his motherfucking hell. And I just can hope that he find me in that realm of reality and learn how to ascend because this is what I'm doing down here. So what I'm doing down here, I'm, I'm doing in every realm. No one's left behind. Believe that. Nobody will be left behind. Not if I got anything to do with that shit. I don't care where you transform yourself to. You gonna be all right. Rest in peace, little Pete.